So what were the different compensation plan types? Regular pay, incentive and ad hoc, correct. So regular pay. We created our salary plan yesterday. Now let's also create an allowance plan. Right, let's see. Let's see how we can create an allowance plan for us. So let me create allowance plan. Okay, the task to create an allowance plan is create allowance plan. Now we have a few options here. Number one is it can be an amount based plan. It can be a percentage based plan or it can be a unit based plan. And on top of it, we have an option to make it reimbursable. Okay, a reimbursable allowance plan are associated with expense items. Typically, if you are doing some expense, then you can reimburse it back from the organization. Okay, it's... Employees claim their reimbursable allowances by submitting an expense report. So, if it is a reimbursable allowance, then it will not be paid to the employee directly. The employee has to submit a claim via an expense report for them to be able to get the payment for that particular allowance plan. Right, and do you know the rule about the allowance plan? About how much you are going to get? Let's take a quick example. Okay, so let's say that you have an internet allowance. Up to $150 per month. Okay, that is your internet allowance for the month of January. You, your internet bill is $140. Okay, so you have, you're claiming it. In January, if you are claiming it, so you will get a reimbursed, which is $140. Now in February, for some reason, you ended up spending $150. So what will be the reimbursed amount? One-fifth right. And then in March, right in March, you watch too much Netflix because there was a lot of nice shows which came up. So your bill actually went up to $170 for some reason. That how much money you will get as a reimbursement? $150 again, right? You will not get $170. You will get $150. So what is the rule? Allowance. Or maybe allowance amount. Or reimbursed amount, right? Whichever is lower. That this is the... This is the rule that most companies follow. The amount allowance. I mean the allowed amount or the allowance amount or the reimbursed amount. Whichever is lower, you will get that amount. So if you are claiming an amount that is lower than your allowance, you will get the lower amount, which is 140, like we got in January. If it is equal, everybody is happy. Employees happy because they got the maximum. And if it is more than the allowance, so it says whichever is lower. So that means this 150 is lower. So you will get the $150 right. That is, that is a story with reimbursable allowances. Now, while we are here, what is an amount-based plan? What is it? Amount-based plan? The internet expense that we saw? Was that an amount-based plan? Yes, where in the allowance they specify an amount. So this is an allowance. With an amount, with a dollar amount. Let's say with a monetary amount. With a monetary amount specified. That is the amount-based plan. So if it is a list, a car allowance, and I tell you, I'll give you $1,000 per month. 
So that is an amount-based plan because I am specifying the monetary amount. Now, what can be a percentage-based plan? People who are in India, they would have seen this very, very frequently as part of their compensation. What is a percentage-based plan? What is the percentage-based allowance? Let's say so. You are specifying it as 50 or 60%, 50% of what they speak write basic salary, or B speak 50 of your base base. So, if it is a percentage-based plan, it is a percentage of something most commonly percentage of peace. Be right. So, like the like the hra, the house rent allowance in India is typically up to 50 of your base pay. So, that is how the companies will specify the allowance, and it's also called hra or house rent allowance right. This allowance is 50 of your base pay. Some government employees get a DNS allowance right, and the DNS allowance is also a percentage of their base pay. Right. So if your base pay is high, you get a high hra. If your base pay is low, you get a proportionate. Okay, but yeah, let's say you still have a, let's say, a commission. Okay, or maybe a sales allowance or maybe a travel allowance. Travel allowances are not like that. Okay, I'm trying to think of something, maybe a wellness allowance. Write a wellness allowance as ones of your base pay. Okay, I'm not even one person. Let's make it 10 of your base pay. So every, every month, you're going to get a wellness allowance. This amount you are supposed to spend on on your wellness, like maybe a gym membership, or maybe some, some sports goods, or maybe some, some, some fitness gear and so on. So this is your wellness allowance, right? That is 10 of your basic pay. Okay, but this is a percentage-based plan. This will be a percentage of something, most commonly the base pay. Now, there can be another thing, which is called a unit-based plan. Units of what? Not the money. Okay, it is not a money-based plan, but it is a unit-based plan. Let's say your allowance is 20 liters, not 20 liters. Let's say 20 gallons of gasoline. Perpetual right. You're going to get 20 gallons of gasoline per month. That is the allowance. Okay, so irrespective of the cost of gasoline. So, you don't care about the cost of gasoline. You are only eligible for 20 gallons of gas, 20 gallons of petrol per month. So the company will take care of the price. So every month they will announce what is the rate that they're going to give you. Like, let's say this month. They are going to give you $3.5 per gallon. Let's say, okay. So this month you are going to get $70 next month. It can be 3.5, 5 per gallon, so that you get an extra amount. Now, let's say it can also be in terms of the car mileage, right? So they're going to pay you money, equivalent to 200 miles per month. Okay, equivalent of that, and per mile per mile. They are going to give you dollar. Let's say, 5. $5 per mile because that includes your car maintenance, petrol, etc., 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 sing and so on. So per mile, they are going to give you $5. Okay, but this is your allowance. 200 miles per month, irrespective of how many miles actually you are driving. You may be driving 500, 600 miles, doesn't matter. They're going to pay you something which is worth 200 miles per hour and per mile. They are going to fix the rate every month as $5. Got it. But you see, if you look at this, this plan, without, I mean, if you just look at this plan, 
Would you be able to tell what is the exact amount you are going to get per month? If you look at this particular allowance, you can't see right, because every month or periodically those rates will keep changing. Isn't it? The rates will keep changing now. It happened to us, like in India. You may have seen that that conveyance allowance right, the 800 rupees or the 1600 rupees that the conveyance allowance with the government had mandated now. Nobody could come. Could I mean commute to their office with the 1600 rupees? That was just an unrealistic amount, but then the government never changed it. So sometimes what happens is companies. They don't change these like mileage or this per gallon rates for months. If just forget, and maybe you are paying for petrol at maybe $5 a gallon, but the company is still giving you a 3.5. It may happen, but still still, the main point is the allowance plan is defined in a unit of something. They're not giving it. They're not telling you the money amount in the allowance plan. They're only saying that this is your per unit of a product that we are going to give you. That is your allowance. All right, so there can be these three types of allowance. One is the amount-based plan, which is obviously very, very simple and straightforward. You have an amount specified up front. A percentage-based plan is a percentage of something, typically the house rent allowance, which is like a 50s of your base pay. Okay, and then we also have the unit-based plan, where you have to define the unit of something and then the payroll team will know that, okay? This employee gets 20 gallons of gas per month. So, 20 gallons this month is 3.55. So I'll give him 70, $1.